Is Jira a popular DevOps tool in 2021? There are a lot of tools in 2021, a lot of tools in DevOps, a lot of tools that aren't in DevOps, and Jira is amongst them. But should you spend any of your time bothering to learn it? In this video, I'm hoping to answer that question for you. I'm going to go over what Jira is, where I see it, what I think of it, and whether or not I think you should get familiar with it. Let's dive in. Hey, Mike here from learndevops.com.au. And in this video, we're going to be talking about Jira. Jira was made by Atlassian, who are an Australian software development company. Now, Jira is very heavily used throughout the industry. So let's just get straight into it. It's massive. It's huge. It's very popular. It's very powerful. It is basically everywhere. It's been used across public sector, private sector. I've used it in startups and I've used it in enterprises. So is it popular? Oh yeah, it's everywhere. It's absolutely everywhere. And what are my thoughts on Jira? What do I think of it? Well, look, it's very, very complicated. It is a very large tool that can be made to be almost as flexible or inflexible as you like. And it almost requires a full-time job to actually manage it. It's almost like you actually need to go out and hire someone and bring them into the business just to look after your Jira for you. And, and in some cases, that's actually true. Some companies actually do do that. Unfortunately, one of the problems with Jira is that it actually tends to be pretty badly misconfigured in most organizations. I've been in companies where they'll have a column inside of a inside of a sprint and it'll be like the blocked column or the to-do column and it doesn't work. You can't drag anything to it or the flows just won't work properly and nothing can be closed or the sprints are just poorly set up. And it's because it's such a powerful piece of software, it's very easy to break and it's very easy to sort of get wrong. And that's not necessarily a bad thing about the software. It's more of a user error kind of thing. And so would I recommend it as a tool? I would, because it is pretty much industry standard when it comes to project management. But there are other options out there that I think are much easier and just equally as good. For example, we use ClickUp here at Learn DevOps. That's what we use, ClickUp, really simple. You just log in, you create some lists, you move things around. You can even do sprints if you want to. So there are simpler options available. But with it, when it comes to Jira, it is pretty much the industry standard on project management. Now, the one of the questions is obviously, should you get familiar with it? Should you actually bother to even invest invest any of your time in Jira? Should you bother? My in my opinion, yes, you should. I would recommend that you fire it up inside of a Docker container and you just have a play around with the UI. You don't have to learn how to create all your own custom workflows and start sprints and stop sprints and do burn down charts and all this kind of stuff. Just fire it up inside of a container, get it going, have a little play with that UI, maybe create some tasks, move them around, set them to close, put them back again, add some comments and just get familiar with it as a tool that's going to really really help you going into an organization that uses jira which is which is probably going to be most organizations and so you're going to want to be able to learn you're going to be able to, be able to actually use the basic features of jira so yes i would attempt to get familiar with it if you do have the time okay that's all i want to talk about in this video so lots of devops tools is Jira amongst them? Yes, it is. Should you probably study it? Yes, you probably should. That's it. Simple as that. If you like this video, then please subscribe, hit that like button to let us know whether this was useful. And of course, let me know down in the comments if you're using Jira, what do you think of it? Do you like it? Is it good? And of course, head on over to chat.learndevops.com.au and you can connect to our Discord community there where you're more than welcome to reach out to me and ask any questions and also to our brilliant community members. Let's connect soon. Cheers. Very nice.